So, while running around through drawers, I managed to pro cross Kinsey's Fifty Shades of Grey book. So, I'm thinking to myself, the fuck? I mean, it has to be good, right? So I'm opening up to a random page. 265. There. I'm gonna stop reading it. All I'm wearing are my shoes. Well, Kate's high-heeled pumps. I'm taken aback. I've never undressed a man. You can do it, he cajoles softly. I blink rapidly. Where to start? I reach for his t-shirt, and he grabs my hand, smiling slyly at me. Oh no, he shakes his head, grinning. Not the t-shirt. You may need to touch me for what I have planned. His eyes are alive with excitement. Oh, this is news. I can touch with clothes. He takes one of my hands and places it against his erection. This is the effect you have on me, Miss Steele. I grasp and flex my fingers around his girth, and he grins. I want to be inside you. Take my jeans off. You're in charge. Holy fuck, I'm in charge. My mouth drops open. What are you going to do with me, he teases. Oh, the possibilities. My inner goddess roars. And from somewhere born of frustration, need, and sheer steel bravery, I push him onto the bed. He laps and falls as I gaze down at him, feeling victorious. My inner goddess is going to explode. I yank off his shoes quickly, clumsy, cl clumsily, clumsily, uh, and his socks. He's staring up at me, his eyes luminous with amusement and desire. His looks glorious and mine. I crawl up the bed and sit astride him to undo his jeans, sliding my fingers under the waistband, feeling the hair on his oh-so-happy trail. He closes his eyes and flexes his hips. You'll have to learn to keep still, I scold and tug at the hair under his waistband. His breath hitches and he grins at me. Yes, Miss Steele, he murmurs, eyes burning bright. In my pocket, condom, he breathes. I search in his pocket slowly, watching his face as I feel around, his mouth is open. I fish out both foil packets that I find and lay them on the bed by his hips. Two. My over-eager fingers reach for the button of his waistband to undo it, fumbling a little. I am beyond excited. So eager, Miss Steele, he murmurs, his voice laced with humour. I tug down the zipper, and now I'm faced with the problem of removing his parts. Hmm. I shuffle down and pull them. They hardly move. I frown. How can this be so difficult? I can't keep still if you're going to bite that lip, he warns, then arches his pelvis up off the bed so I'm able to tug down his trousers and his boxers at the same time. Whoa, freeing him. He kicks his clothes to the floor. Holy Moses, he's all mine to play with, and suddenly it's Christmas. How? This is attractive. I've seen better smut on a Nightblade fanfiction board. Not written by me, of course. Now what are you going to do, he breathes, all trace of humour gone. I reach up and touch him, wanting his expression as I do. His mouth shapes like the letter O as he takes a sharp breath. His skin is so smooth and velvety and hard. What a delicious combination. That, what the fuck are you reading? I'm not reading anything. What the fuck are you reading? I'm not reading anything. Are you, are you reading my fucking book? 